Hey, it's Cory. Welcome back to the Record Keeper. No cam today, because I've got a head full of hair dye, would you believe? And I'm waiting for it to develop. <laughs> so in about 25, 30 minutes, I'm going to be running away to wash it out. You guys will be none the wiser, because I'll pause. But yeah, I, I figured there's probably no point in me sitting here looking awkward, um, covered in hair dye. So yeah, anyway. Uh, stuff. Oh, I have not given myself any notes. I'm on my way to Blackrock, though, aren't I? Where am I? I'm in the bunker, that's right. I tried to leave Bleak and went up the wrong hill. And I think I have way, 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 way too much stuff, though I think I dropped a lot of heavy stuff before I slept. Yeah, that seems accurate. And it is morning. Okay, so... Might take the coffee. I'm guessing I've taken a bunch of bullets and stuff, if there was any. I think it's a food... They're usually organised into particular um, categories, these bunkers. So I think it was a food bunker, so I don't think I got any... Good, you know, probably didn't get any bullets, I don't remember. So it's been a while since I've been able to record. But yeah, we're on our way to Black Rock. Let's put away the lantern and check our inventory here. Isn't crazy, which it kind of is. Apparently, we picked up everything in the world. Um, I haven't been lighting a lot of fires. I've noticed in Voyager, I really don't light very many fires. Um, I did a... Uh, a run on stream yesterday for like a birthday stream I was doing and I didn't um I didn't light a fire once it was a pilgrim baseline though so it kind of makes sense um let's just drop a few of these under 50 percent foods just trying to get a little bit closer to yes yeah, so we've got six in the gun 45 and two but we've got no oh we do have a rifle that's right okay cool sweet um, my clothing is, the lowest is 82, so I'm just going to drop a couple of cloth, one of the leathers, we've got a cured rabbit pelt, I don't think I've been curing anything else, there's really no point, point. and we're on our way to Black Rock, so I need to actually get out of Bleak and not walk up the wrong hill, and I think I recall that I'd killed the majority of the Timbies, Oh, I'm actually all the way up here. The monk is all the way up here. Ah, can you walk down from it? I have never walked down from it this way because I've only been to it once before. Just checking. You guys are hearing me okay. I seem to be very loud. Let's turn myself down just a smidge. I seem to be peeking quite a lot. Oh, you can. Okay, well, this is cool. Well, I'll never forget where the bleak bunker is because after I found it the first time, for some reason, I got confused and I didn't realize it was that easy. Uh, I need to go up and around. Might take the whole half an hour just to get back to Mystery Lake. But how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. Tomorrow is my birthday. You're seeing this after my birthday, but yes, it is my birthday week fortnight month um you're probably seeing this at the very end of april i think so yeah my birthday has just passed and i'm hoping i had a good birthday i had a good birthday stream on the wednesday before my birthday that was really fun i streamed for a bunch with my friends and just did silly things and lots of people showed up to support me which was really nice on my actual birthday tomorrow i am going out for a really fancy dinner with some good friends um and yeah, then I'm um, going to do some karaoke, have a bunch of cocktails. My kids are staying overnight with their grandmother, which they've never done before. That will be really fun for her. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I don't think I left anything here last time. I don't see why I would have. Let's just check. Mm, what's that at the back? Oh, it's the snow bed. Yeah, I don't think I would have left anything here. That's cool. I've got an almost full meter. I'll just have to drop a few things to be light enough and we'll climb back up. Probably drop our water and our sticks, that sort of thing. But yeah, I usually like my meter to be basically full doing this climb. It's pretty, pretty beastie. And luckily on this difficulty, you can just basically sleep on the ledge or sleep at the bottom. 
sleep at the train car at the bottom as well. It's not a bad sheltered spot to sleep. Just to make sure you're fully topped off before you climb it. And I will probably still stop on the ledge because it is such a climb. Yeah, I don't know if it's the position of the mic at the moment or something, but my mic seems to be very loud. I shall look at that afterwards. So just if you're thinking about letting me know that, just, just so you know I know, <laughs> um, I will make sure that I look at that after because I shouldn't be peeking as much as I am. Well, I'm going into the red. I'm not peeking, peeking. There you go. All right. Here we go. Uh, we've only got three sticks anyway. I like to keep one just because it's good for fire starting. I shouldn't. I don't need two of these. Um, and I probably don't need fur. Alright. So yeah, I, I actually am kind of tempted to do this. Even though I probably don't need to. Let's just get her nice and full. All right. See you, Bleak. I really should make the improvised crampons. I never, ever do it. I've gone and collected them many, many a time, but I really should, um... Really should do it. I'm halfway with my... stamina, and only have taken a tiny bit off my, uh tiredness so that's actually really good but yeah I just thought you know what let's just uh let's just be super cautious <laughs> after you know that last rope was terrible wasn't it I was you know obviously not in such good starting space I'm so used to ropes just not being a problem as well so that last one Startled me. That's okay. We need a little drama, didn't we? Oh, here we are. I didn't need a hacksaw, really. Let's get a few more sticks. Let's get a coal and some sodas. And then that's probably it, really. Food. Yeah, you've barely picked up anything, Astrid. You're fine. All right, let's go. We're going to go straight into Mystery Lake and straight into the dam to go to PV. And go into Black Rock that way via Keeper's Pass North. Let's drink one of those actually. Did have one coffee on me I could have drunk, but when it's Voyager I just use the bedroll as much as possible. Hey Bun Bun. You don't need to worry about sleeping outside. Even if a blizzard kicked up I would have been fine with the two hours of sleep. trying really hard maybe that's why I'm so loud on the mic because I'm sitting forward a little bit I really don't want to lean back in my chair in case I put dye all over my chair <laughs> though I do have covers on my chair my chair is actually a dark charcoal gray and I've got um little seat covers on it to make it like a pale purple because it felt like it needed a little fun I'd like to try and find some similar ones that are maybe my favorite color which is turquoise or teal my favorite shades I think I got these from a particular site. I'm gonna see if they have my favorite color instead. I always wanted a turquoise chair. There's a really, really cool one that Secret Lab make, but they're like $800. And as much as I love being gaming and being in this chair, um, I'm not gonna be working from home with my new job. I'm not gonna be really working from home anymore. Um, apart from occasionally. So, um, I don't really need to worry about being in this chair a lot of the time. I'm going to be in an office. Old school. And it's funny because I always said I would never go back to working in an office. That working from home works for me so well that I never wanted to go back. And then this job came along and I'm just, I was just so keen on it that I was fine with it. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about going into the office every day. We'll see how long that lasts. But they have said that, that working from home is possible. It's just not um, something that the role that I've taken on is going to be doing very much. Mm. 
It's been a while since I've dyed my hair. It is uh, quite the smell. If you haven't done it before, it is a strong chemical smell. Um, yeah, it's a very, very bright red. I'm hoping it's um, hoping it's as vibrant as it looked when I put it on. I've had some bad luck lately with the hair dyes that I've been buying. I haven't liked... Um, it's been coming out really dark brown with a little bit of red in it when I want it to be like bright red, you know. Flamboyantly red. Alrighty. I'm assuming I have searched everywhere in here, and if I've left anything, it's in here. Anything of interest? No, not really. It's below this joint. Fun thing about Voyager is I have been teaching myself in recent years to not care so much about the loot. Because you will always find more loot. Um, unless it's something very specialist you're looking for, even that is so common that if you keep moving around the world, you will eventually find what you want. Though I have had a couple of <laughs> very frustrating challenges where I haven't been able to find particular things. Yeah, my friend uh, DH Dunn and I like to race each other, like go find an item and go to the another map. Uh, both start in the same map and then find... We basically spam starts until we get the same spawn point and then um, go find a particular item and then get to another map. And we spin like these wheels to decide what maps we start and finish at. Um, and it's really fun. We haven't done it in ages. We need to uh, we need to plan to do that soon. I do have a week off coming up between my jobs. I maybe suggest that. And if I do it, um, whenever we race, I post it on the channel as a split screen so that you can see... Both of us racing at the same time. Um, if I remember, I will link them down below because the two we've done have been really fun. I'm actually going to write myself a little post it. Try not to die as I write while I'm walking. Don't die, Astrid. Uh, race links. Okay, you can barely read that, but I think I'll know what I mean. Here we go. Back to normal walking now. The weather is being very kind. On my uh, birthday stream, I did that run I was talking about. I called it the YOLO run. It was pilgrim-based custom run. Uh, everything pilgrim except the animals weren't uh, the animals weren't fearful. They didn't run away. Whatever that's called, animal. Oh man, I can't remember the term that the game uses for when the animals run away from you. Anyway, I turned that off. I put moose and bear up to very high. Um, that didn't work. I barely saw any bears and I never saw a moose. Um, I always do this wrong lately. Um, and then I... Yep, thought that might happen. And then I turned off sprains. And I turned off... Um, I can't remember. Blizz I made blizzards like really low. Not very possible. Um... Yeah, it was really fun. And then I ran around and just killed things. And I had like a bingo game running. So every time I, if I killed a wolf, a bingo board got ticked off. And I killed a bear, a bingo board got ticked off. And um, all that sort of stuff. Everybody got to chip in. I also had bingo items for um, things that I do on stream regularly. Like randomly singing or making up parody songs. Or getting up to turn the heater on and off. <laughs> In summer it's the fan, in winter it's the heater, but I'm hoping this is our last winter in this house, so maybe next year it'll be slightly less of me amending the heater. I feel like I'm really babbly today. If you're not in a... if you're trying to sleep to this and I'm just too chatty, I understand if you turn it off. I'm in a peppy sort of chatty mood, which is funny because I didn't think I would be today. The day before my birthday, I'm kind of a bit like, oh, it's my birthday. Isn't it sad that you go from being so excited as a kid about your birthday to being like, as a grown-up, just being like, oh, my birthday. I think it's because it's a milestone birthday and it comes with a lot of different feelings. I don't feel that age on paper. Um, I feel younger. 
and I know it's not an old age, but in, in the slightest, it's only 40, but it feels, you know, when I was young, my, I, my parents had me a lot younger than I had my children and my parents, I was, I was a teen by the time my parents turned 40. Um, I feel, you know, you feel, get that feeling of not, not accomplishing everything you thought you would have accomplished by the, the age that you are. And then a massive part of it is the fact that my dad is not here to see me be 40. He died when I was 35. So it's five years this year, the end of May. And that really sucks. That really hurts. Never stopped hurting. I, I thought it would be, it would get easier. And I mean, I think it definitely has. It's definitely a lot less, um, a lot less pain, a lot less raw. But it still really hurts to think that he's not here to see me be 40 and see my kids grow up and he himself should be turning 70 you know he should be enjoying his retirement driving my mother crazy but it's not to be anywho it's weird it's a weird birthday alrighty so there's a can that I've abandoned in a previous life well in this life but you know we're going to go out and down the hill and straight down to Keepers Pass North. I have not been to Blackrock in such a long time. Oh my gosh. Um, it's been so long. Oodles of time. Let's hope we don't get a bear friend on the way down. But you know what? We've got so many weapons. <laughs> We've got every weapon. Uh, we can take him. You know, we'll be fine. I used to be so scared back when I first started playing this game. I'd just I'd go out of my way to take um, paths and and routes that meant that I never encountered the bears. I'm so scared of them, but with a gun, <laughs> especially a flare gun, they're really not a problem. So let's uh let's get that out and get that ready in case he decides to be a pest. 19 flare gun shells that's crazy we can do 19 bears i don't even think the how many bears are in the world at any one time do we think so we've got 12 12 regions i think that's counting the connectors though maybe it's more now i haven't it was 12 when i was doing my challenge that i spent 30 days in each region and that was before zoc i think that was before fa as well so we're at 14 now are we maybe um, and look, connector regions obviously don't have bears. The ravine doesn't have bears. So what, we're looking at maybe nine major regions that have bears? I'd have to add them up in my head. Um, let's look, let's look for a second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12 regions that have bears. Oh, then the other two, don't they? 14, yeah, 14 regions have bears. It's not showing, you know, the other part of the world. So there's way more regions than I thought. Maybe it's just the 12 major regions that I was spending my time in on that challenge. I think it must have been. It's obviously way more regions than my brain counted before. Um, so yeah, that, that means there's so many bears in the world oh my god like what 45 average probably three three or four for the big maps and one or two for smaller maps one for mountain town well one for dp i really should add it up when people were doing the great bear hunt challenge on twitch um there was like an actual tally i made some commands for um a couple of streamers that were doing the challenge and wanted to count their bears but um i never did it i've done my own like bear kind of hunts but um i never i've never i've not done a lot of the traditional challenges that a lot of twitch um users have come up with probably should do some of those at some point but i had fun doing uh my naked wolf hunt which was called dark side of the moon because i was being silly um it was kill as many wolves as you can in 30 days, but it was stalker, so that you had more wolves, and it was um, 
the challenge started as soon as you found a weapon. So you had to find, if you found a bow, because there are bows in the world on the lower difficulties, if you found a bow and at least three arrows, I think it was, um, or if you found a gun and a box of ammo, um, then it, you had to then drop all your clothing from that point and start the hunt. That's when your 30 days began, because there are challenges at the moment, like the Great Wolf, there's a Wolf, Wolf Wrangler, I think it is where you are doing it all and i think it's 30 days as well but it's um you have to do like get the bow and arrow going like it's lopa you have to have the bow and arrow going within that 30 days as well um and that's crazy to me <laughs> that's a lot so i thought it would be kind of fun if you started it when you're um i'm being paranoid now i'm gonna run up the hill you started it when you're um when you had the ability to actually hunt. Yeah, he's not he's not coming up, that's fine. I have come had him come up this path before. And scare the bejesus out of me. Or maybe maybe down the path? I'm not sure. I'm being paranoid. Alright, I'm gonna have to pause in about five minutes to wash my hair, and then I will be back. Wonder if the fumes of water making me a little bit loopy today. <laughs> Coming into it with chaotic energy today. I think we're good. There has been a bit of chat lately about how some bears just aren't spawning. Um, people aren't seeing all the bears that they expect to see, like the farmhouse bear and PV. Like, I haven't seen it in forever and neither have a couple of my stream friends. So it kind of seems like um, it's not spawning. All right, we're almost there. We're 23 minutes in, so you guys may not get much. You may not see me even get to Blackrock. I may just do Keeper's Pass. I have to remind myself where the notes are. Most of them are around the prison. We're in the mine itself. Now, if you don't know about it, there's a corpse over here. Over there. Somewhere. I think he's always there. It's a memento. So he has uh, a key. And then you can go find a memento box at Three Strikes, which has something very valuable in it. On difficulties lower than Lopa, it is extremely useful. I don't want to do too many spoilers, but yeah, it's worth doing. All right, what I'm going to do is get to the trailer. And I'm going to pause there for a second. To have the quickest of showers. Make sure that I wash my hair at the right time. I'm going to have to clean these headphones that are in my ears. I'm sure they're covered in dye. They're my uh, stream monitors, so they need to be cleaned if possible. Look at all these bullets. I'm thrilled. It's going to be fun shooting the Timbies. I don't know if there's much useful stuff in there. I like Keeper's Pass. I think it's a nice map. I quite like the little design of the this area up ahead. The little lookout and the water and everything. But Unfortunately it has annoying friends. Annoying jerks that want to be my friends. Well they want to eat me. I remember being so scared when I first encountered Timbies, like they flung themselves against one of these trailers like all night, it was a 12 hours or something I was in this trailer and they just flung themselves against it over and over and it scared the shit out of me. 
Anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. You will not even notice I'm gone. Hello. Now you can't tell because it's wet, but yeah, you can kind of see <laughs> the red, the red dye is in. Um, I'm all refreshed now and clean, and we're in the trailer. Now I don't think I need anything from here, but you know, let's have a nosy. You can't. I'm mainly just looking for more bullets, to be honest. Which is so silly, because I really don't need any more bullets. I also don't need to take those, I don't know why I did. Okay. Uh, oh, one second. Sorry about that. Apparently my children are awake, but that's okay. It is being handled elsewhere. <laughs> Alright, we're a little bit tired. Um, let's see if I can remember where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, normal wolf. Hey, bud. I remember going across the river and climbing up on the river, but do I just follow the bridge? I, I'm not going to stop and loot most places, by the way, just if anybody's wondering. <laughs> Look at the wrong camera. If anybody's uh, keen to see me do anything, I'm afraid. I'm just gonna keep going. It's been so long since I've been here. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I, I remember that being a dead end and that you cross the river and then do some climbing. Hmm. Let's just uh, go down here for a minute. It's looking a little blizzardy. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go across. I'm so lazy, I never climb down those things anymore. I mean, the road might have brought me around here anyway, I can't remember. It's almost like it's new to me again. It's how long it's been. Pretty sure I go through a cave, so I will uh, shelter from the blizzard in there. Hey, bro. Do ya? I pulled it up as I uh. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Just felt like it. Probably mean and unnecessary, but you know. Now is it that way or this way? Should really save my bullets for the Timbies. I know. I spawned here and I've done a little bit around Black Rock in the last six months, but um, I haven't travelled here in probably a couple of years. I just never want to. <laughs> now, is this the transit cave or is this just a cave and I've just misremembered this whole thing? This looks, but this looks, yeah, this looks like good potential. Cool. It sounds fantastic. It's a nice cave, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. The sound effects are... Uh... Oh, someone fell to their death, I'm assuming. Oh, Can I have your boots? <laughs> Just kidding, I've got my clocks. And then, hilariously, the game decided to try and give me her boots. <laughs> Seeing blue flares always fills me with dread because it's like when, when they used to, um, not they used to. When I first went to Forsaken Airfield, and they were everywhere. Um, I went on a lower difficulty because I always explore on lower difficulties, and um, there were so many flares, and I was like, "Have they 
they just not told us there are Timbees here? But no, it would actually be a good map for Timbees, I think, because it's so vast and the predators are so spread out anyway. They don't really bother you. But occasionally running into a pack of Timbees wouldn't be that big a deal there. Kind of surprising that they didn't do that, but I'm wondering if they're thinking that they'll do that with the wildlife refresh um, that they're about to do at some point. Who knows? We haven't heard anything from Hinterland in such a long time. Six months almost. It was December that we got the last Dev Diary, which is crazy. I don't know if I lucked out and went the right way here. I think I might have. Oh, I find ice caves so bewildering at times. That's why HIV, even though I kind of know my way around the ice caves in HIV now, um, it um throws me. And yeah, there's an improvised knife there, which is cool. I can kind of get through the ice caves well enough in HRV to get to the signal fire, but um, I'm kind of garbage at them. I just I, I find that they throw me. So many of their corners look samey. I hope I've not just gone in a big circle. We shall find out in a second. No, I haven't. Okay, good. Oh, Black Rock, I hate you so much. Okay, let's look at the spreadsheet extremely briefly. We have to go to the steam tunnels. That's fine. The guard tower behind the infirmary at the prison. Prison, prison. Okay, four of them in the prison, one of them in the mine. That's kind of easy. Makes it easier, I guess. I'm not traveling all around the map. I just have to remember how I get to the prison from Keepers Pass North. Let's uh, let's get to the next save point. Basically, I'll I'll just do that far today. Oh boy. My uh, energy levels are quite low. I wonder if I should drink that coffee actually. Just to help me out a little bit while I find my way. I don't know what I'm going to stream tonight. I know this isn't your problem. But I'm, I'm, al I'm already quite late to start streaming and I have no idea what I'm going to stream. So we shall find out what I feel like when I, uh, when I start it. This reminds me of, uh, Wintermute. Running along, trying to escape the convicts in episode four. Spoiler alert, sorry. But you should play it. I like it. Some people hate it. That's all good. But yeah. I think it's worth playing through at least once. To get the wider context of the game. I mean, this was always a side project to help them finish story. Um, and then it took off. Everybody loved survival so much. But yeah, it's funny. Now most survival players don't touch story mode. I'm going to replay episode four on my channel, which will also go to YouTube. Uh, it was going to be closer to episode five, which is the end of this year supposedly so yeah maybe uh maybe in springtime new zealand time autumn time most the rest of you <laughs> i will play episode four again so that i've done a full replay before the new episode comes out and it's i've done it close enough to the new episode that um it makes sense it's almost like going to forsake an airfield but it's obviously not as long but oh my god so convoluted I will collect a few sticks. Now, do I remember where the heck I am going? Follow the signs to the prison, basically. Then let the map itself guide me rather than try and remember it. And then we'll just uh, shoot all the Timby packs. It'll be an adventure. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Afraid you're not gonna, Astrid. I'm afraid you're going to be a little bit overburdened. I see bun buns. Oh. 
<sighs> Sorry, bunnies. Didn't mean to scare you. You guys are okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Got plenty of food. Oh, they're so cute running together, though. I love the footprints that the bunnies and the ptarmigans make in the snow. Here it is. I was going to say, the little hut has to be here soon. The bit of, I think, rebar or whatever this is, a saw stuck in the, uh, in the... Yeah, so, forest is hermitage. We're going to save here. And I uh, will pick this up in a few days. I'll be back with more Dead World before that. Let's, uh, let's just do a quick nap to get the save. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me when there's other places you could be. Please like, comment, and subscribe so that other people can find my content. I'd greatly appreciate it. But I'll see you in a few days, as I said, with more Dead World and then with some more The Record Keeper as we explore and try and get the five notes of Blackrock. Should be fun. All right, see you soon. Bye, bye.